Hello, 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 welcome back to another how to video using Rollmaster Classic and the version 2 updated one by Dakadin on Fantasy Grounds Classic. Today's one's going to be about encounters. So go to the encounters icon, click on the little twisty at the bottom, and then on the green icon to start one, give it a name, for example, llamas. Go to NPCs, drag what you want. So let's grab some llamas, la 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 la. Drag them on, one, two, three llamas, close that down. Now, if I go to the combat tracker, there's nothing there apart from our two PCs. If I click on this one, there you go. So anytime you want to use this, you can just add them onto the combat tracker. They're ready to go to place on the map. But there's more to it. There's more automation involved. So if that's all you wanted there, that's the encounters video done. But let's show you a bit more about it. Look at this, first of all. Unidentified creatures, they're all the same. So if I identify all of these, they're all llamas, but they all got the same name. So if you're on a map, they're all going to be called Llama, 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 which is annoying unless you're reading a book for a kid. What we're going to do is we're going to change it so that auto numbers them. So I'm going to clear the combat trigger, go down to delete, delete the foes. Then if you go into options, go down to where it says add NPC numbering, and it's off at the moment. Click on that, that appends it, but that goes up in sequential order. So your players will have half an idea if they come across Orc 52. They know there's 51 other orcs, at least 51 other orcs. So I like the next one, the core random one, and that gives them just random numbers. Now, if we go into the encounter and place them, they've now got random numbers, and if they, even if they identify them all, they're all identified as different numbers. So that's auto numbering. But there's more to it than that. Average party level is two. Click on this. It's now auto calculated the XP. We'll show you later at the end of the video how to add that to the party sheet. But there's more to it than that. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of this, right hand click, delete. Menu, delete, get rid of the foes. Right, look, random. Twisty, green icon for a new random. This is gonna be called llamas as well. So I put some llamas in here, but I want these llamas to be more souped up. So if you click on this, look, you can't change it. It's read only. So I'm gonna make copies of it, just like you did with skills. Drag, drop. Drag, drop, you've got your two versions. If you go down to the new classification, you've only got the ones that you can deal with. So the first one here, this is going to be a Llama Warrior, so I'll unlock that. And I'm going to give the them up slightly. So the level here is 3. I'm going to put level 5, just so I can put their skills up by 20. So that 20 becomes a 40. That 40 becomes a 60. And that 20 becomes a 40. I also want to update the classification for this small byte, so I'm going to click on that. It's called S byte. I'm just going to change it to actually just make it a medium byte. Go down to the bytes here where it says rank small. I'm going to make that a medium now. So when that attack rolls, the table resolver will take it as far as the medium classification, the boundary for that one. Now hits then probably should go up as well, shouldn't they? So let's knock hits up by 80. Well, put it up by 20 to make it 80. So there's my llama warrior. And then the Llama Pack Leader. So unlock it. Llama Leader, save time. Uh, we'll put this up by uh, three levels. So level six, so put everything up by 30. Hits now 90. And everything up by 30. So the charge is now 50. The trample is now 70. And the bite is now 50. And let's upgrade the, the bash. Let's upgrade the bash. So that was a medium bash. Let's make it a large bash. Large bash, and then down to where it says rank two medium, into large. Done. There we are. We've got our two types of llamas. We can add these into here, but this is where the beauty of the randomness comes in now. So a la a, the llama leader here, let's close this down a second. The llama leader here, I actually never want there to be just the one. But with the llama warriors, I want there to be... Uh, at least two, one, D, four, plus one. So let's have between two and five of them. Also, let's set the factions. Friendly, no, neutral, no, they're going to be hostile. So they're all hostile. And now that random encounter is ready to go. And you have a whole, a whole slew here of random encounters. And when you're ready, you just go into your encounter. You click on generate. We've now got an encounter that's been generated for this. And look what we've got here. We've got four Lama Warriors. One Llama Leader. Let's pop these on a map. No, I don't need that anymore. 
don't need that. Go into our map here. You've seen this in a previous video. And then the Llama Leader is going to stick at the back here. Followed by the Llama Warriors. Right, terrible tokens, by the way. But tokens is another video. How to change those. They're all placed now. You see the ticks come up here to say that they're, they're being placed. They haven't been identified. They've got a faction. How much money to go? Let's just work out XP for this. Average level 2. Oh, sorry, it's not locked. So unlock it. Level 2. What's the XP going to be for that? 930. Well, this is not an easy encounter. Close that down. That's done. You see they all disappeared off the map. They're not there now. So just check the combat tracker. Nothing here. Later on, they're walking down here. You want to run that encounter. Llamas. Click on this one to add everything to the combat tracker. Boom. They're all there. Look, the random numberings got involved here. We've got a blank one, four, five, six. Close these out of the way so you can see the map. And they're all there. They're all hidden at the moment. And they're all ready to go. Look, hover over there. You know they're ready and connected to the combat tracker. And just like the combat tracker, we'll, again, there's going to be a video at some point. Let's spring the, let's spring the uh, ambush. Let's make them all out. Show them all now. The eye symbol. They're now all visible, and if we want, let's just identify them all. Because they're all the same type, apart from one. Well, this is the leader, I believe. And the rest, then, are all the same. They're all identified now. And they know they've got a fight in their hands. They really do, actually. It's probably This is probably too tough in a, a, a fight for them. But let's assume they do win that fight. So we'll fight it all through. And then if we go to the party sheet, like you've seen in a previous video, go to XP. We've got previous bits that we've done. Uh, the quests and the encounters. Well, this is an encounter, remember, so I'll go back to encounters. Let's drag llamas onto there. Drop it in. And now you see it's 930. Hasn't been awarded. Just click on award. Little tick in there, and it's awarded into the chat box. Lirida and Bob got one each. There we go. End of another video. See you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.